Hi, my name's Snark, Snarky the Sharky, and I'm a whole lot smarter than you are. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why that is. Well, I'll tell you. It's because I like to ask a lot of questions. I like to learn about the world around me, and I like to learn about the people who live in that world, including myself. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be asking a lot of different people a lot of different questions. Who knows? I might learn a little bit about the world that I live in, the people who live in that world, including myself. And I may just find a love that will replace the love that I never received as a child. So here we have the first person who's going to be interviewed. Uh, I just have a few questions for you, sir. Uh, the first one, let's see. Um, have, you ever, have you ever considered turning to prostitution as a form of income? No, I have not. Okay. What, what, do you think you would ever consider it in the future? Nope. No. Could, could, you, could you expound on that? Could you tell us why that is? Because I have other plans to, with my life. I see. So apparently prostitution comes after other plans. All right, I think this is going to be our second to last question. Uh, are you familiar with the philosophy of Scientology? I have no idea what Scientology is. Would you care to know what Scientology is? Um, maybe. All right. Well, you don't seem all that enthusiastic, so I'm not going to waste my words on you. Okay, let's see. I think this is our last question. All right, so this is my last question. Um, will you marry me? Okay. Okay, that's fine. I didn't even, didn't even want, okay, yeah, I didn't even want to. Well, we just asked a uh, sports provider uh, retail uh, location, as well as a uh, video game retail location, if we could film on the premises. However, they refused to allow us to do that. Uh, they will remain undisclosed for now, but it's okay. You know, I really don't take any offense. I really only, only needed to ask them that one question anyway. I don't much care for them after that. <laughs> Well, looks like since we're not allowed to film anywhere, I guess we're going to have to take to the streets. You know, since we're out here, you know, on public property, I think it's a good time to say that I'm not sure if America's the way it used to be. I mean, I'm detecting a fairly large anti-shark sentiment here. I think things need to be changed. Right now, I want all of you watching to go to hashtag StopSharkAbuse.com at Twitter. Hey, um... I just, uh, I just got caught by a mall cop, and, uh, he, um, made me take my shark costume off. I've been, I've been stripped of my essence. Snarky the Sharky is no more. Well, we're, uh, walking down this street now. I've kind of, I've kind of just given up. It's kind of what I've, I've done. I've learned a lot about the world. People don't want to be te taught about teachings. You guys remember when we were planning on finding a lot of people? Yeah. How's that going out for you? <laughs> I'm still getting paid, right? Yes. Sweet. Um, so this is the uh, next people that we're going to interview. My first question, first of all, are you two a couple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's adorable. Um, not that I care. Um, let's see, my next question. Have you ever spun a fidget spinner? Yes. Yes, you have. Okay, that's interesting. These are the first people that I've met who have spun a fidget spinner. Uh, my next question is related. Have you, ever, have you ever spun a fidget spinner so hard that, it's, that, that it reached terminal velocity and it began to phase out of this reality and it began to appear in one of the many other alternate realities? Have you ever experienced anything like that? I hope not. You hope not. He seems very uncertain. That could mean that the space-time continuum has already been uh, irreparably... Uh, disturbed. Now, this is probably going to be my second to last question. Do you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? I've never been good at it. You've never been good at it. Okay. Have you ever considered taking off the stickers and then putting them all on like one side, like all, all on one color? 
I don't know. I just like giving it to other people. Oh. Okay. So you let, so you let other people solve it for you. Right. Okay. And then you show it to people and you say, hey, look, I, I solved it. In like fourth grade, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this man likes to uh, take credit for other people's work. You could be a famous inventor one day. All right. Let's see. Uh, this is our final question. But uh, would one of you, I don't care which one, uh, marry me? Yeah? Okay. Cool. How do you feel about that? You can marry me too if you want. Okay. Cool. I found love, finally. All right, so now we have a large group of people who apparently want to be interviewed, so I just have a few questions for you. I'm going to have to one-hand this. Uh, my first question is, what did you go as the last time you went trick-or-treating on Halloween? A uh, hockey baseball player. player. It was baseball. <laughs> Wait, no, it was, it was hockey. hockey. It was hockey. Okay. Hockey. Both of you were hockey? Yeah, we went together. Yeah. Okay, but any of you? I was a giraffe. I can't even remember. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Okay. So let's just go with hockey player. Um, let's see, my next question is, have you ever spun a fidget spinner before? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, my next question is actually sort of tied into that then. Uh, have you ever spun a fidget spinner so fast that it reaches terminal velocity and it phased out of this reality and went into a separate reality? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we should probably tell all of the, uh, all the hippies to watch out for tears in the space-time continuum. You guys... Pro that's probably a safe assumption. Okay, take note. So this is my last question. I want to uh, remind you. So my last question is, would one of you care to marry me? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm doing better than, than, than when I had the shark suit. Well, that's all the interviews that we have time for today, even though it really only took 30 minutes to do the interviews and it took about three hours to find people to interview. But anyway, that's all the time that we have, regardless. I've been Mr. Snark. No, no longer Snarky the Sharky. That guy's dead. Sushi.